Pearl and Pfeiffer GTC. Please like, comment down, subscribe after watching. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Axel and Pfeiffer GTV. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to like, comment down, subscribe after watching. Our home activity for today is solving consecutive numbers. Let's start! So how about this one? Find the three. Oh, for three. this time, three na. Find the three consecutive integers or numbers whose sum is 126. Find the three consecutive numbers whose sum is 126. So now you have three. Nasha, three numbers. Uh, y Boy, letter N. Y <laughs> M. Remember, if it's consecutive or odd consecutive or even consecutive. I just mentioned consecutive if numbers. You have only, if you have three and it's only consecutive, this is one and this is two. Very good. This is one and this is two. Your first consecutive is? N plus N plus one, N plus I. N plus N plus one plus N plus two equals 126. Very good. This is our first consecutive number. This is our second consecutive number. And this is our third consecutive number. Very good. So what you're gonna do? N and N and N and plus N two N plus N three N. Good job. Next. Then let's eliminate one and let's eliminate two. So that's equal to three. So, let's eliminate one first. Then, subtract. This is a surprise problem. She don't uh, be giving this one. So, one. she has a hard time. But it's okay. This is part of and active learning. Let's eliminate two by subtracting two. Let's put both sides by subtracting 1 and subtracting 2. So, in short, you have to eliminate neg uh, 1 and 3. That's equal to 3. Then, you have to subtract both sides by negative 3. Or, negative 3. You have to subtract both sides by 3. So. 126 minus 3 equals to 123. Very good. 3 and equals to 123 very good and let's divide both sides by 3 3 divided by 3 equals to 1 let's cancel bring down n let's divide 123 divided by 3 Divided by three. Lucky 12 you. divided by three. Twelve divided by three equals four. Four times three equals to twelve. Minus twelve minus twelve equals to zero. Let's bring down three. Three divided by three equals to one. Three times one equals to three. And subtract. Three minus three equals to zero. Our first consecutive number is 41. Our second consecutive number is 42. Our, sec our third consecutive number is 43. So our answer is n equals to 41 and plus... And plus 1 equals to 42. And plus 2 
equals to 43. When you add that three consecutive numbers, will that be equal to 126? Let's okay, you can let's solve add. that. Uh-oh, you can try to check your answer. Oh, you can have this one. Okay, you can have that in column form. With a new question. Yeah. That's always the process. To check your answer, you have to we check. You have to come up. I'm correct. Ah, very good. Okay, 41 plus 42 plus 43 it's, is equal to 126. So that's equal. Very good. Let's have another one. Let's have the last one. Huh? <laughs> Find that three consecutive integers. Three? Okay, then. How about if we have this in, I uh, know. I love three, please. Okay. Three consecutive integers or numbers whose sum is 33. Three. Three. 33 consecutive three. numbers. Three. three consecutive numbers whose I sum know. is 33. Have you? Okay. Wala nang laman. No, it's still one. You know what uh, what I am trying to n develop plus, here n is plus to one plus n speaking plus two skills. Equals this, is this is our first consecutive number, this is our second consecutive number, and this is our third consecutive number. Mm. So I'm trying to develop her n construction n of grammar. N n equals to, and plus n equals to 2n plus n equals to 3n. Add that one and ako by adding so one and two. Three. Yeah, it's it become three. So you can have that simplified. So it's equal to three, and you can just uh, subtract both sides by. Oh, what we are gonna subtract on the other side? Yeah, very good. It's minus three. You can always simplify numbers and letters or any representation to make it easier. Equals thirty, and let's and let's divide both sides by three. Three divided by three equals to one. Let's cancel. Bring down n. Thirty divided by three. Thirty divided by three. This three consecutive numbers is just a surprise. And one. Our first consecutive number is, the same is lang ten. Siya. Our second consecutive number is... I can't hear you. 11. Our, our third consecutive number is... 12. So therefore, our first, second, third consecutive numbers are... N equals to 10, and plus 1 equals to 11, and plus 2 equals to 12. Let's recheck. Okay, do the rechecking. When you add consecutive numbers, that should be equal to the other side. So the three consecutive numbers must be equal to one hundred uh, to thirty-three, right? So yes. you have to sum sum it up. I'm correct. So therefore, your answer is correct. Okay. So that's all for now. We have our home activity today is Friday or Thursday. So, thank you so much for watching and please do support our main channel, Excellent Five for GTV, and same through with our second channel, Familia Gore CMX. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye po. Thank you so much. Have a great day and God bless.